eyin eyan wa e je ka judge mu ko orin ile yoruba awani ogo adolawo Kaleo e kujoko a mirobi a murobe ma e ni binu pe mi o si ba nso le ni jometa e gbogbe a da lagba olorun le tumare a gbodo ni foya a mo po risirisi lo nse le lori le de wa ori le de yoba kintun tenu mo Nigeria o kin se orilede o ejo en te ma npe Nigeria le orilede tori ko se de to nje Nigerian orilede yoba ede yoba la nson be orilede ibo ibo na nson be orilede Hausa Hausa tabi fufude tabi to ba wo na nson be ani ede me lo kon pe yen ye ka fi mo ipe ko sin kan to nje pe we are one on tenu mo ti on bo ba wa sarin wa ko si ba se le so pe ba le kan tabi ba sorun tabi ba logun kan ma lo pe on koja odo ya soke lohun pe on pe awon kan pe eyin ara bi ba yo je ka ijo se lupo mo so pe eyin ara tori won ki se eniyan awa na npe ni eniyan awa tolohun iyan ara la awon yokun awa awon ara onile ti won loto oto olohun se da ni e ko ye wa mo fi wakati soro fun gbogbo awon mo to ba pe ra won lomo lomo yoba won de mo pe ni yo la won ko fi apan ti o yo le ko si bi ta ma lo ya to si pe kan pada si ile wa o ori le ti wa wa loto igun meran ni ori le wa wa loto tolohun ti da le and that's why if i have to use a reference to the bible The Tower of Babel was considered of a people who had a common language. But along Ripe and Kumbrukunon Shebo, to my parallel, I kill a long ship. Would the Tower of Babel Bule? Would they fear the autocracy? Mm-hmm. Uluka Luku? Mufuani Leo Torto. Chuba? won le bara won se bo tun o kin se kan na won le pa ipe ra won ni kan na tori e lo da n pe ori le nigeria 
a n gbe yan ju lati yi nkan to lo fi sile pada ta fin pere wa ni kan na ba la se je kan na ko si e ko ye wa awon ibo to pa wa po awon na mo pa nse kan na to re won se fi ohun le kan to lo particularly you got when anyone to ba lo fe fara mo awon fulani ko ya tete mo pe da e menes and a nuisance to any people they find themselves attached to awa be se mu won lo re no wa ni wa won ko ede wa a bo ede ti won a se won bi o mu eniyan ngba ti won ke se eniyan ara ni won won ni mo ngbo leni jo meta pe awon fulani mi se ede yo ba lo nfo we eh won ni reason to fin se be ite ro bi eh good fulani ni la ni wa to pe o se business peaceful person iron gbogbo e mo ti ni agenda to re ni won ni ijoba ninu ijoba ti wa e wo kini se seriki ti ba ye pe o se ijoba fun awon fulani to wa ni le ijoba it's like an independent nation within a nation that's what we don't understand gbo gba ton joku ton po re 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 si sagam ki lo se ni ben gan ti won respect asha ibile wa gba ton shuru ti won so fun ku won gbodo jade ki no se da bro ba ka no so fun wa o jade se ko ye ko ye wa ni eh that's the saddest part of our lives we should wake up to the reality agbodo ma so pe te we ba pe nu o se o tun do se o kun se o se gidi mo adamo di o se ni ye la fi gba omora ki ben ta pa tin so pe we are very friendly people ngba to wa si orile ede yoba when he was doing his journeys in 1826 and when he got to yole at first so ti ko ko ya lo yole ngba to n pada lo ka to wa to n pada ba won ti so fun pe ile yoba ni ko gba to ra bi ta won eniyan wa ni e ton le tojo e ton le to na fun to ma fi ona han to ba fe lo si oke lohun uruko e lo ma nje lodo ti wa yo clapati ba to ba koja si oke lohun ni bi ti awon fulani ati asawa e mo ruko to nje un je ruko not african person tori fufu la won na rais abdullah lo ruko to fin ni lohun ko ro bi boya boya mo ruko tabi libia lo ti wa ti lo fa awon ibo fi gba control to so ta mo ni awala fara ale ta ro ni an trust won when you got put us together through a letter patent to wa je ni ta won kini awon colonial officer pe mistake ni o ti won je ki mr hakot or discount hakot to sign paper ni september of 1930 the letter patent was used to falsely create nigeria create opolopo omo wa omo pe ko si nkan to nje nigeria until 1940 elomi lara won ton ba so ton ton ba ka won we mi to n si wa lona wa ni nigeria in 1800 ko si nkan to nje be on sha para wo yen sun bi won si lu kini yoruba country no bi won si o wa na document ti opolopo ori ton wa fin so pe awon british parliament ti fi pa mo pe 
where we have uh, ever been your back country it has always been there while why the those are not relevant things to point out it's our fault not to see these facts it's our fault but zero we talk about only fast yeah but it's much bit parliament if you can come if you want to find out it's there in the libraries in the archives you don't have to break into it like a uh, kidney uh, to nina so it's impossible to break in you register and you request and your request will be answered who but much a day we more to wait to that me for me you don't feel like want to challenge you want to do it you don't move if you want to challenge the only one the book is called the liberty of man woman and child but my daily to the one you know me but no one live with no term on you and lost you live but my daily to the moment you came over what was you need me and that it was a library when you are oh yeah about me you do see my mom you will buy you will buy it's an ancient book I'm sorry I inherited that book but I lost it can I have a copy to read again when it takes six months for me to get because it's a classified book and I can't have it six months later I'll call it as in this is a country that has other rules regulations call it as in the book has arrived can you come and sign for it let me do my sign for it you see I'm saying this because most of us some of us PhD holders graduates of say graduates of uh, communication and all that we forget that after graduating and having our PhD that's just the beginning of learning just the beginning it's a foundation for you to rediscover who you are who is me that is what most of us we thought you have over 10 1000 or 10,000 PhD holders in your land what do we do we are not able to process the right kind of information to inform our people behind the young ones are fed with wrong information it's a sad it's open there so it's a matter of making a little bit of effort if you get 13 mobi alin tete ero no epe or you are with your girlfriend you think of oh let me think of this how did this happen because you know life is about the past now and the future we cannot divorce any of those three things the past now and the future it have come as a big bag bay history then it means you want to forget yourself why are you not born one day you want to forget your birthday that's the meaning of the Bible history to buy in seven and the Bible history because that will inform today and give us the room to fashion out a better tomorrow I call the mass of that tomorrow without knowing what happened in the past great masters including the Yorubas of the past have that thing you have to go far back into antiquity to be able to resolve now and decide tomorrow that's what we have been avoiding and that's why we make erroneous claims British past, uh, Parliament is hiding something that book a lot of people refer to I got it from Semes Bookshop you know it was also available in the short any but on some of its branches and many other Semes Bookshops and if you care to know that lady established the girls school Kudeti girls school we are also the uh, University College Ibadan commenced until the, their campus of youth on your road if you don't know the University of the College of Ibadan started from Kudeti Girls School. 
And before, maybe before the Ogumba uh, Jason flood, the building was built of solid, non rusting wood. Because there, when I was growing up and I lived in the battle for so many years, to let me go, no, I rabbit on him. Me do me on your more bad, a rabbit on him. Yet one made it more bad than that. More see one stroke, go to Look him up. Yalaka, come on on the right. Look him up. 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 You see, we have to connect to our people. And that's where we'll be able to appreciate the fact that we need our nation back. We need our nation back. And the master of prayer jet from Soko. Or coin loafing prayer jet at Soko. Because I know the married to Dawa. My lag baralati shekum bukini. Tabani Ibuya. That's why I'm assuring you, we should not fear the fact that some people are hell-bent on stopping us from having this European nation. I believe that we are going to. It has come to that state. There is no going back. The other strong belief is going to happen. The faith, even in the Bible, will move mountains. If you don't have faith and you are looking back, hey, can we continue in polio? Go forward. Let us see it. They are struggling in our forests. A lot of messages have come across which we have had. There are hundreds of them in the forest. Yes, I agree. Things are happening to them. I'm not going to say more than that on that particular point. Now, we have been divorced from Nigeria, if you know that. The last Ramadan, the so-called President Buhari talked to the people of Nigeria in quote, the one he knows, not us, in his own language. That's the divorce, a mini coup. And during the World Press Conference by the our so-called Attorney General of the Federation. What did he speak? A language we did not understand. So we do not belong. So why should we not stand up and say now, we need to have a referendum to decide the direction of each person that happens to claim to be part of a Nigeria that has no meaning to our future. Look at the floods. The Lagos, uh, system, uh, drainage system, was supposed to be developed in the 50s under Balewa. Nothing was done. Lagos Railway and connectivity was supposed to have been, rather they removed the, the Zapas uh, uh, tram lines from Broad Street. Not replaced with anything. Unfortunately, we have some of the first because of lack of proper what I call optimal management of uh, the Lagos transport system, which was so effective in the past. Gradually died of particularly during the military incursion into politics. Those buses were those of you know were on time. And I read that they are the same on time because there was proper organization. And they go through the old cutter made of iron steel. 
and approach him, Tinubu Square. Tinubu Square that was almost desecrated with the effigy of uh, Queen Amina of Zaria, whatever, wherever she comes from in the north. Luckily, our people saw the imagery and then they banned it. They said, you cannot put it here. It doesn't have any relationship with our people, the Yoruba people. That day, I think they were able to do it. But one thing our people did not understand then, but they continue to be part of Nigeria. Why did they not stop to be part of Nigeria in 1957? Rather, we said we are waiting for our brothers from the north. Is that right? If you want to call me, Ade Thomas is going to direct your calls to me anytime now because today's chat or chant is not going to be a long one because today's Sunday. And a lot of people will have to go to work on Monday. So I'm not going to take much of your time. Maybe by Wednesday when I come in full force, we are going to discuss the reason why we have to call for the dissolution. We are not agitating. If you say you're agitating, it's like you're talking as a slave, begging a master, we are not calling that. We know the source. It is there, madam. And you know, those of you who have done business, or even it does not require that you don't know the meaning of an amagam. You should bring, bring two things together that one is working well and the other is not working well because you want to take advantage of the economic of scale. You bring them together. When it continues to fail, what do you do? You deserve it. So Nigeria has arrived at that position now. It has to be dissolved. So that each area will start to develop according to its own strength and power and dream and resources. This I mentioned to the late Emir of Kano at the Bayero because he sent somebody to me way back year 2000 through Remy and through uh, a Yoruba man from Ilone. So the minister below I'm talking about may not be the one you think. He came and traced me to where I live in London. And I told him if since the Emir did not send a note, I'm not going to send a note, but a message. And my message is I believe you all know that you already have Sharia states in your area, which I see as semi-autonomous Islamic sovereign states within Nigeria, which the British press, as at that time, BBC and the economists described Nigeria a divided nation. Of course, they use the word nation because maybe they do not want to really say the truth about nation or the definition. A nation is composed of a people of a common language, ancestral origin, a way of life, births and death celebrations, and even housing systems that is unique to them. Now if you look at in depth into what I just described, there's a uniqueness in us. the same with the others around us? No. I said, no. I need to investigate if you disagree with me. Uniqueness in the fact, let us look at the uniqueness. Yorubas are a very welcoming people. A stranger will come, they will work on him. They first of all take care of the stranger before the people at home. Because that's the way of life of the Yoruba person. If you go to the East, although I believe that we all should collectively call for the dissolution of the Amadan, but the truth is that if you go to the East, to Ibo land, 
you as a Yoruba person cannot buy one square foot of land. It's not going to be sold to you. Dr. Akerele, in the colonial times, had a very viable practice in the Igbo land. The moment an Igbo land got qualified as a doctor, the next message was that being bad, being bad, the person is using witchcraft to cure you. And then it is practice fair. He came back with his briefcase back to his own homeland. Find out this. Those of us who are old enough who remember Dr. Kerry. He came back with his briefcase. The practice fair closed. That just shows what I described. People of a common origin are better in their own country. The same thing was uh, published in the economics, I think the year 2000 around March 2002 about Botswana. That, uh, I have the documents on my on my what this thing files. If you want, I can send it to you. There's a particular sentence which says, if people of a common origin are better place to run a country effectively. We are a multi crew of people. And most of our people who are in the political era have sort of sold ourselves in an attempt to politically accommodate the other people into us. We pretend that we are friends when we are not friends. Tropical Guba Pada Maybe they have exchanged money or other things. This one I left is just for because next time I might get more. We have been played as a game. And look at the society. Look at the flaws all over. I just hope that the Onion Dam 2 does not add to the floods in Lagos today. If it does, it's going to be a calamity. That place should have been used to irrigate all those land, 3,000 square miles, 3,600 square miles of land around Onion Dam up to the borders of, of uh, Dahomey or Benin Republic. If that was in there, you think those people would be coming to those lands because irrigation land is difficult for cattle to go through. Foot rot will destroy them. You know what foot rot is? Yeah. The same thing, if the Ikaregoj Dam near saying was completed under Abbasanjo or under Jagari, it's been on since 1978. Up to now, it's not been completed. Another 3,500 square miles of land were been irrigated there. They will not have that corridor to be fighting our people. It was deliberately left undeveloped by the Fulani persons who were ruling us, starting from Buari and even Chagari, because they knew they need to use that land to terrorize us. Have they saying that? If you look at the map of of uh, Nigeria and and, uh, and Niger. The belt from Sokoto down around the borders of Benin Republic up to Badagri. That's where the problem is. And there was a motor rally around there in 1976 to test run if they could use that route. And you know there's a national program of developing that road. It's not been developed. They are waiting for the time we foolishly allow ourselves to be subsumed and they create uh, MRS and then they will do the road. It's part of the project. It's not for us, it's for them. That's a fact. Um, there's so much to say. We should wake up so that we will be able to recompense for the souls of the departed, for our mistakes, 
for our quest for unnecessary wealth that is destroying us. There's so much wealth in the land if we stand alone. There's so much to do. This is not in the phase of re uh, developing our free health and free, free health service. And if we develop it effectively, like here in Britain, you know, NHS is the largest employer of uh, labor. What do you have at home? Then coming to education. We dis uh, decide to set up free education with research centers and all that. Then the burden of taking care of our children will be removed from the parents. Then they will have time to be part of the uh, growing economy. They become an informed population who can have informed decisions on selecting who to rule them. Even our parents who have not gone to school will start to go to adult education. When I was growing up, my, my mom was going to adult education classes, domestic science classes, learning how to do things. What is there for us now? There's nothing. Are we going to consume our freedom for a piece of cake? The crumbs are drawn from the table, te uh, table in Abuja when we can grow on our own, when we can develop everything on our own, we have the manpower, the educated manpower, so most of us who are lost in Europe and America and other parts of the world, even Iceland, and to some extent, Antarctica, those of them working in the research stations, there are people there, Europe Look at how spread we are in every nook and corner of the world. We have abandoned our home. Yet we keep on saying Nigeria must stay to destroy our future. Chapara Williams warned before he left this earth in 1915 that being in Nigeria as amalgamated as it is, is going to destroy the development of the Eurobarrels by over 200 years. It's not wrong. Where have we arrived at? We had a brief period of development between 1954 and 61. By 1962, the architect of that development was already in prison. That is the date I say Nigeria died. We've been trying to bury it. We'll be trying to turn it around. We'll be trying to pretend that it's uh, united. We'll be trying that it's a task that must be done. Because one said, before he changed his uh, rhetorics, that the basis for unity in Nigeria does not exist. He didn't say no longer exists. He said does not exist. And which is true. But later on, people said, oh, you guys, we as, as head of state, you should not say that. And let us sign the jingle. To keep Nigeria one is the task that must be done. And every little child born started singing a false item. Have we kept it one? No. The narratives around shows that it's an impossible place to keep one because we are not and will never be one. Unity is a dream between us, Hebrews, Yorubas, Elsa, Junkos. We can be better placed when we separate to cooperate on that separate sovereignties, cooperate in the field of trade. Before the European Union was formed, there was this European Economic Council. They treated effectively with themselves. And look, we are pretending to have a, the ECOWAS. Is ECOWAS working? When the borders between the ECOWAS countries and Nigeria has been closed by the gracious head of state, and he opened the borders, and then, uh, look at the map, uh, the area where they are bordered with Niger, which is the second Nigeria, 
there's nobody that closer there. People walking and now they bring this in and the so-called um, officers who are watching the, the post and just welcome and goodbye elements. Welcome, goodbye. I tell you that's the fact. Because I had uh, an elderly uh, cousin who was working at uh, Idiro Kobola in those days before Semebola came up. At the time of me, they asked for posting to the northern borders, but clearly the area of Sokoto and the maybe near Castina. And they just sit there and they drink beer and watch traffic move in and out. And you say you have a Nigeria. You have a Nigeria that you don't know its boundaries. It's been on even before a lot of us were born. It's been like that right from the time of the Amagam. As a fact, you should wake up to reality. You should wake up. We don't have a country that we should be proud of. After all, it was a trading post created for trade. And before you know it, our people who are highly educated started shouting nationalism on a country their forefathers had no hand in creating. And some writing, we claim that there was a Nigeria before 1914. There was nothing like that. Look at some books. Misrepresentation and anachronisms. and chronological errors of events that happened. Certain things I want to bring to your notice. You don't have a place to be proud of. I told one young man from uh, Asaba in those days a long time, we happened to have attended a meeting. He said, never talk like that. You are not a patriot Nigerian. I said, okay, what's the language of Nigeria that I should so that I can be proud of you. He couldn't tell me. And then I said, then why are you telling me to be proud of you? <laughs> you see, we should wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Those of us who are still opposed to the Yoruba nation, even though I know we have our differences amongst the Yorubas, one thing I promise you, the moment we are together in one single nation without any interruption from other people, we will see sense that we should work to develop our different areas. The Kitima will be say, ah, we can wait back from only or the Kitima is in control. The Yaguma will say, oh, we can wait back from only. You see, that energy will come up. It's not about post, it's about development that energy will come up. And before you know it, in five years, our land will be open like the bright light that we have been trying to cover. Our land will be open. And people from all over the world will want to come and work. Those of them who have been secretly learning about Yoruba, the far tradition and all that, from the Israelis to the Russians, to the Estonians, to the Ukrainians, and to even the Americans, everywhere. I even hear some of those professors of Yoruba language, that lady I praise her. She dresses better than most of our Yoruba ladies with Gili and Dubai. Dubai Marosh will say, it's a white lady, and when she starts to speak Yoruba language, that's the pride. Why do we want to leave all this for a future that Nigeria cannot sustain for us? Not because of some personal interests of some people who have forgotten that they have a people to rule. Who have ruled once one of the best uh, states in the country, yet the state is suffering. Look at the floods in Lagos today, yesterday, and most other parts. These are Containable things. That's urban and rural planning. 
takes care of such things. This is what that will be led into reservoirs to store for agriculture. That's what they do in civilized countries, except when it breaks bounds, like it happened in Germany recently. Well, the line has come up now. If you want to call me, call plus one three three two six zero zero eight nine nine five. If you're coming calling from the US, or if you're calling from London, plus four four two zero three nine eight three three five five three. I'm waiting for your calls and see what we can share. I like to be educated too. I like to hear from you. I like to hear your feelings. I like to feel with you. Because in your mini bobo in me no, in your in me. That's the way I feel. It was stuck. I'm waiting. Grace of Lord. Let me check if my phone is still fully charged as 85, 81%. So I'm waiting for your calls. And gracious Lord, be with us. Oh no, Lord, man, come and show anyone at the law, at the judge, at the Walino. Who, when they walk tall in the Committee of Nations, and our language will be one of those in the pool of translated languages at the United Nations. It drops the pool. And our head of state will stand up and speak in Yoruba, even though he understands English. If I do understand English, but when they get to the United Nations, they speak their own language. The Chinese does. The Japanese does. What is wrong with us? We get there, we try to look at the our representation at the United Nations. Hello? 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 your life and for what you are doing for the education you are educating you are educating us tonight sir. and I really get many things out of your speech tonight I really appreciate it yes 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 Hey, hey, Joe. Uh, oh, really, uh, Nigeria? And uh, that propaganda uh, uh, nation. Mm. Yeah. Not a nation, number one. Yeah, sure. You came to me with me. Not all people do, Joe. People are women. You're talking about You're talking about what? 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 You're talking about what?
been since you have been teaching us, I expect many son around among our people. But the the skill which will be come to one chair. I say straight sir, maybe a female situation to that if I want to just some officials you are not if I want solo. Just for your mind, this is only for the way you talk about to see the only for you. Hello, my daddy. But I agree with you. I agree with you. Moti Sonic Park in here. Madam, mo du pe lo yin gidi gidi awon kan meji te so ti mo ma mu se eh se ri awon ton wa ni house bobo i will find a way to connect with them odo mo ti ba awon kan lara awon soro i will find a way to connect with them and talk the talk of mo ibile fun won to ba ki se niyan atan gogan wa because en kan to wa nbe won lati lo ogbon si tori federal government bag book by shell or more got somebody me but i'm more by she my she take me book where my father so do i father i'm a babu bone can't talk about all what by danny but i'm a fee of more why oh no only by she my she bobo kenny first of all on board on my you toro ma bi won pe se igba ti president ati attorney general so ede fufu de ti e mo pe won ti divorce ni kuro nigeria ni esa the next thing for you to now stand up and say now we seem not to be belong to this country anymore and we are calling for a referendum they have a right to and the whole world is is to call a press conference back home the uh, world press conference back home yeah, it, it, it is but important enslavement for all the time timothy even to the talk all the time the ambassador and governor to one can most of what is why are you so not able to do this thing are you not in the same country as well even under our passenger when those places have been completed he did not do it you know why i want to make the paper trail in the ministry that he pass on even at a fee to no bullet you better try that is okay for electricity circle did they not stop it? They stopped it, yeah, and then we are still looking. No, the more. It got to us on the page. I was a time. Turn, turn, fair employee. Turn, fair. Did you know before? But I want to go let the boost up. Can you? Turn back. See, I unique by connectivity. We should not be. 
it's, it's as if pe ilu yen fe poverty nigeria wants poverty not development and that's why a city like lagos it, that's an enough deposition anywhere in the world you say it, like lagos and the environment can no longer be part of a country that is promoting poverty with its policies that's what it is they are promoting poverty i will be a bishop power you back on any come out on my phone in the and don't try to do long only roll a issue that is she said to do more because i want you later yeah that one is not it's something not and one sure we say so slow back to Yeah, exactly. Because tell me once or we should go back to our land. It don't go long so plow on the what is trying to do. Yeah. To go back home. Actually, don't even want me in our government or whatever. It's just few. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as they are. She bought it long, 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 and then multiply them to feed the, the, the people. That project was supposed to have been done in 19, because yeah, Professor yeah, Oya Kwantishe project yeah, way back 1978. 1978, the Kwantishe project, and that is the stock where uh, land with the uh, new stock of uh, cattle. Professor uh, Kundayo, late now. Was in charge. Told him to pay and one share the site. Lori Kini Moache and all let it pay. Those cattle are called Muturu cattle. No one share call it pay. You want more? I don't like. I don't like talking about what I. Have. You see, I know. Unfortunately, I happen to uh, have a It's not me. I have a lot of money. Love. 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 A platform, and I'm happy that you are listening. Today, you go ni mama do pelo wo ni pe listen to me. I'm very grateful to everybody who is listening to me, because our freedom lies in understanding. Our freedom lies in understanding. Then you Now it's not going to be too long. We are approaching the end game now. We are approaching it. Like uh, by Lady Mary, the more our people know the truth, the more our tax is done. And because I know one thing, uh, the international community is waiting for us to speak with one voice. Tori, there are so many discordant letters. Uh, uh, and we are going to I'm a sorrow, Lori, you know, because it's going to be part of my new next uh, this discussion. That if you really are interested in what you are doing, then we have a one agenda program that we are calling for the dissolution of Nigeria. Bobo, I want to listen. And the champion of that. Who is going to lead us out is Professor Banja Kinte. That we cannot deny it. Only book by when you're more like by ye. I want heads of state, but I want no good. You but in fact, one day, so for pair, Barney book boy, yellow, you let you work accurately. It will have a drug You know, that is one thing that is delaying us. 
Alagba Alon ti corona e ba se ton ti won ba le ai jade is going to make an important world press conference because our color creator our Adema she ni bi bai pe the first idea is in the open a lot of don't don't know the amalgamation was just uh, to save money to pay off South Africa. So South Africa is the causative of the creation of Nigeria. That's one thing most people don't know. And that's why uh, Kilorukwe, my great friend uh, Nadi, sometimes I feel sad that he did not go to read about this thing, even though he said he went to the archives. He did not read the facts. I'm not condemning him, but we should not educate ourselves with wrong, wrong information. Wrong information. Yeah, because it's, but he has done so well on the first major. He's the, to me he's the greatest proponent of the first major. He has done so well there. I praise him for that. But as to cut, talking about how we came to being, no. And I, I'm ready to talk to him about it any time. I've been looking for his number. To talk to him and I make references to what he should know, what he should know, because he, 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 sometimes I, when I'm listening to him, he will say, I have the documents here, but you'll be saying something that's unrelated to what the first are. And then the people listening to him are so happy. Yeah, this is a brilliant man of many years' experience as a lawyer, legal luminary. What is feeding you with facts that are uncorroborated? I'll say that. They are bullying. They know how to bully you. They know how to. And now look at. Let me tell you again about divide and rule. Divide and rule started from our side of the, the Amagam. When they came, they signed a treaty of peace, trade, and protection with us. And the uh, Alafi. Adi Emi the first, and this other person signed it in 1896, 97. And when that was 1888, sorry. And when the Yamaga was coming in, they had already jettisoned that treaty because certain Nigeria, it was formerly, if you look at that treaty, it was Yoruba land and Lagos colony. Okay, coming back to that idea, pay our in both the Yoruba country, Yoruba land, anywhere. It is in that treaty. That's why I feel, I feel irritated when I see people banding that, throwing it on the social media. Look at what the British Parliament, they use, usually say British Parliament. It has no room for that, that nuances. Somebody published a book in 1874 and revised it. The uh, fourth edition was 1877. Uh, and Ahidara, the person who established there. So, sorry, let me give room for another person. We will discuss all this later. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right, sir. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay, sir. Bye. Bye. Bye, sir. Yeah. Well, as I was saying, as trying to explain something to the other lady, we need to do our research. We need to understand the beginning. We need to understand that even that Amaga was seen as a very terrible mistake. But they couldn't stop it because Lugar had taken the paper, the letter patent, and was on his way to Nigeria by January 1st, which was a Thursday of 1940. He declared it. Those pictures of the Obas and of the Bong and the Alafin that came and Kito Yajasa, they only came for a tea party with Lugard to say that now we now are running the two uh, protectorates as one. There was not a treaty that they signed. Some of us called the amalgamation treaty. It was not a treaty. And some of us called the amalgamation document. It became a document in 1919 when Lugard was making his final report. And that report published 
was sold for one shilling three pence from the British uh, uh, press, the Royal Press at that time. So it was not a hidden document. As at 1919, a lot of our people were here. If they cared to, they would have bought that document, that paper. We are even look at one that we should not be attached to the Fulanis. I can say it over and over, the presence of them. Those are facts that are put together by a British officer, official who was instrumental to putting us together. And by 1922, the census was bulged and became a game of numbers. We learn about how many people you are. By 1959, the election showed that there were fewer people in the north than the south, even though all the, the people were high. Yes, Tan Mumbasoro. Hello. 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 Tan Mumbasoro. Huh? Yemi? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, one yummy. So, can you bear a you? important but one thing to, uh, is one of those things I want to get some full details I have to visit some countries very soon you see there's an interruption that will happen in their annuals in me expect way as at this point in time we are money savings because we won't learn on something more so oh yeah only for that in in radier for a short time when we reformat our country because there'll be so much activity like i said 
there's not going to be any dull moment in our land when we get from the word go when we say we are independent there be so much to do that pe elomi aso pe yejo e je kin lo sin mi die no ise ti mo se yu ti fe poju and we will be even a plain white man to come and do some work for us on our own terms i keep on saying that so e ru to nba won ko ni basis in the future to re mo se ma so pe kan won wo oju ojo ni a mo pe ojo bere lati ana ko to di o ni ko wa dola won wo won wo la la wo ibi ton wa nsin ati bo se bere lana ton ba wo owo ton gba yen ko je won loju because at the end of the day won wo se love to fit there are so many people our appendages don't do le 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 won lorun but if we have a nation and we start activities all those appendages will almost vanish because everybody will have something to do won ni ran ti pe a le gbon mi kan ni minister okay to ba te lo ke pe a mo kan wa be yin wo ni se alafia le wa nbe family nkan that is what it should be not that eh eh won rowo omo lewe san eh kini kan eni kan sick awon rowo hospital all that will go going to be difficult eh mo gbo mo gbo nkan te so the reassurance is the the beauty of a new beginning the new beginning that they will also participate and forget their their the the participation will make them lose certain things but they will have the freedom to move around rather than looking for a uh, private uh, guards all over the place and people sharing in here and then they will save that money Yeah. and then even the new homes they are going to build will not be of a high tension uh, electrification on the top with barbed wires because every other person will have something to do you see they are not seeing the big picture of losing the largesses they are having and the wastage they create in the environment they create a lot of wastage it's Yeah. Unfortunately, Kori Be, Eranti has been back. Eranti has been back here as rich as he is, and many others. Fajamu and many others. Money is like what do I call it? It's like magic. Eshulowo. But there are people who have billions, and then they, before they know it, in less than ten years, that disappeared. So forget about the yeah. generation Kongo, my shekini. That's the truth. Even if you have billions carrying about, it will just vamos. So am I nimbero? Things are, and then again, I like the last, uh, the earlier caller called the pastor lady. I'm going to 
find a way to engage them, to talk to them, to talk about their origin. They should not forget that they should, I need to talk to them because I will have been part of them, but I refuse to be because I believe I have something to offer our people and from your own energies. Okay. I'm waiting for the next call. And uh, in the next, I will take two more calls and then we we'll hand over for tomorrow or Wednesday next, uh, next week. Uh, oh, no, Wednesday this week. Now we can have another chat. And uh, if possible, if we can arrange it so that I can talk to some of these. Uh, representatives. They have been written out of Abuja, if they don't know. When the head of states and the Attorney General are now speaking their own home language, it's like a mini coup. The rest of us are no longer part of Nigeria because they have incorporated Niger. After all, the same members of the House of Rep have been voting uh, monies for the development in the, of infrastructure in Niger. Can't they see the big picture of the fact that they are now being relegated to the background and being buried under the sandstorm of a takeover? I don't know why they are not saying this. A lot of documents have been called from places like Saudi Arabia and other places that the new calendar for Nigeria does not contain the existence of Yoruba or Igbo land. And maybe it's a good omen. They expect us to go out of that country as soon as possible. That is if we see the light. That's what it is. We should not complain that they are now building. Because to them, there's a Nigeria they know that Lugard created. And that's why some of their leadership, when the governor Cameron came to the north, from Lagos during the colonial era. I was being introduced. He understood the Hausa language of Fufude. And he was being introduced as Gomino Eko. He told him, I'm not Gomino Eko. I'm the governor of Nigeria, all of you together. I'm not Gomino Eko, as you want to impress on your people. I don't know if you get the imagery. They have always not regarded us. An average northerner will not say he's a Nigerian, he will say I'm from the north. Find out from your friends who are from the north. Yet and we are the ones bring, take, ringing the bell of one Nigeria, uh, one nation, Nigerian nationalism, uh, uh, destabilized. But let's say the destabilized are in for God's sake. Is it possible? Can an Englishman become a Frenchman? You are born with your, your gene of a, of a nation, of a people, your language, your culture, your tradition. How do you dismiss that in the attempt to say you want to become part of a people you have nothing in common with? It's a great foolery amongst us when they are looking at the political gains of 19, uh, 2023 not looking at the dangers that that is going to entail. God forbid, if we don't take time by that date, we'll be having an enemy of Lagos, enemy of Ibado. It was muted during the Abacha era, some of you know, and it was shaped. And that's why suddenly after the second time victory of uh, Buhari, a lot of new mosques were built all over our land. And at the same time, they started establishing Seriki on those states, Seriki on your state, Seriki Lagos state, Seriki Bunkum. They are all the generalissimos of a Fulani dynasty that they want to create amongst you, amongst us, including me. 
I won't say amongst you because I'm part of the pain that is going to happen to all of us. I don't want us to experience that pain of losing our identity. Oh, can you imagine you have an enemy and an Ife? God forbid. Or an enemy and an Oyo. Is that what you want? She wake up now. We should call for the dissolution of the Amagam. And those of our people who are still in this, I've told them some uh, last year that they should be getting ready with their briefcase to run back to their homeland. And the army, our elements in the army, to take whatever they can to come back home. Because that army cannot be used against us because we have a, a stake in it too. Uh, thank you all, everybody. Uh, at this point, I will call it a day. And uh, at this point, I will call to my host, my able host, my great host, my person in your meet at that time. I did Thomas. I'm signing out now. Awani <laughs> <laughs>